the ultimate goal we need to reach with our patients and uh, in particular patients with very low level injury and those with AJD, maybe sometimes AJC, is gait training. And for gait training, there are a variety of adaptive uh, equipment that the patient might need. Um, the uh, ones that are associated with um, the ability to uh, uh, keep moving uh, are uh, CAFO, so here we have the CAFO, and uh, elbow crutches. Now, some patients might need, might need more assistance, like for example, hip knee ankle foot orthosis, or a walker, or um, um, auxiliary uh, crutches, for example, but usually patients who can only ambulate with those will not be able to use ambulation long term. So, uh, if a patient can uh, train to walk with elbow crutches and CAFO, these are the ones who are likely to continue walking. And uh, of course, the less the better, like for example, if they could do it with a cane or with unilateral CAFO like we have here. So let's get uh, to know the equipment. For the um, CAFO, uh, this is knee, ankle, foot orthosis. And here we have two metal uprights to the side. Okay, so this is um, the one here on the outer side, and there is a similar one on the inner side. And uh, the metal upright um, connects two pieces. Uh, one is the, um, the thigh, on, on the back of the thigh, and the other one is on the back of the um, calf muscles. And we have straps fixating it. Now for the ankle joint, uh, preferably, it should be at some degree of dorsiflexion. So this way, when the patient stands, they are leaning backwards on their hip, and they are relying on the anterior hip ligaments to maintain their stability, because most often patients will not have back uh, hip extensors. Um, there's a knee joint at the uh, knee ankle foot orthosis, a knee hinge, I should say, and um, we will uh, show a close-up of that one. In addition, we have the elbow crutches. Now the elbow crutches are adjusted so that um, when the patient is holding the handle, there is slight flexion at the elbow and um, it is at the level of the greater trochanter, just like fitting of any crutch. And the elbow piece is slightly below the elbow. The advantage of the uh, elbow crutches is that the patient can uh, disengage their, um, or like release their uh, hands while still, uh, while not engaging the, um, disengaging the crutch because they could hold it to their elbow okay yeah like this and they could do some light activity if we look at the knee hinge here next to the bars well first it should be aligned with the patient's knee and usually these devices are custom made so here we don't have a perfect fit but uh, for the patient it should be uh, so uh, the hinge has this metal lock. If the patient wants to sit down, they could release the hinge by pulling it upward. And this way, they could bend their knee. And if they stand up, then the lock will just move down. And now the hinge is uh, locked and the knee will not bend.